Good afternoon, my name is Mark Sussman. I'm here with Rong Li Liao at the AHA Basic Science Sessions in New Orleans. We're here to tell you what we've seen in the last few minutes about the sources of new myocytes from regenerative medicine. And there were five talks. Uh, basically, we saw that there was a lot of different approaches going on, and yet still a lot of work remains to be done to figure out where we're going to get the cells from, whether they're coming from what we put in, or whether they're coming from what's activated from within once we donate stuff. A lot of different controversies in the field about what's the best way to go forward. But I think there's a lot of excitement and a lot of potential, and clinical trials are moving forward. People are getting treated, and so hopefully within the next several years we'll begin to pin down how to do this and do it better. What do you think? I agree. And I think in addition to the uh, endogenous or exogenous cell, I think the recent developments on iPS derived cardiomyocytes I think also provide really a new breath of air and a really uh, exciting and great potential going forward. You know, one of the things that's becoming clear from a lot of the people who've given talks is that whether or not you're using cells or you're using cell-derived products, these things we heard about called exosomes, which is the secreted material that comes out of cells, it seems to have very similar effects. And so the leading sort of premise these days is that whether or not you use cells or you use cells by products, so you're activating something within the heart that's turning on and mediating a reparative process. And mechanistically, we don't really have a good handle on yet, but clearly there's potential for the heart to regrow, repair, and regenerate, and we've just got to get much better at the basic science part of that in order to optimize it and make it work better. On the notes of what Mark just mentioned, regardless of what we do to the heart, it seems like heart has some ability uh, to repair itself. I think this alone is pretty exciting. So this is already tell us there has a really unrecognized and unappreciated regeneration capacity in the heart. So if we can figure out more, then we will have a chance to repair and regenerate the heart in the future. Yeah, so I think the take home message here is that there is potential for cures. Uh, it's a ways off and we have to be optimistic but we also have to remain circumspect and we have to make sure that we don't oversell, we don't overhype, but at the same time we don't undersell and we don't underestimate just how important this time is in the field of regenerative medicine and how much potential there is to really change the way we treat heart failure once we master stem cells. So with Rong Li Liao, this is Mark Sussman. Thank you a lot for listening, and we'll see you next year in Phoenix.